with type 2 diabetes, also called type 2 diabetes mellitus. If you don't work hard to keep your blood glucose level under control, there are short and long-term complications to contend with. However, by watching the amount and types of food you eat, your meal plan, exercising, and taking any necessary medications, you may be able to prevent these complications. And even if you have some of the long-term, more serious complications discussed below when you're first diagnosed, getting tight control of your blood glucose will help prevent the complications from becoming worse. It is possible with type 2 diabetes to already have some of these complications when you're first diagnosed. That's because type 2 develops gradually, and you may not realize that you have high blood glucose for quite some time. Over time, high blood glucose can cause serious damage. Short-term complications of type 2 diabetes are hypoglycemia, very low blood glucose, and hyperosmolar hyperglycemic non-ketotic syndrome, HHNS, which is very high blood glucose. Long-term complications of type 2 are diabetic retinopathy, kidney disease, nephropathy, diabetic neuropathy, and macrovascular problems. Short-term diabetes complications. Hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia is low blood glucose, blood sugar. It is possible for your blood glucose to drop, especially if you're taking insulin or a sulfonylurea drug. Those make your body produce insulin throughout the day. With these medications, if you eat less than usual or were more active, your blood glucose may dip too much. Other possible causes of hypoglycemia include certain medications. Aspirin, for example, lowers the blood glucose level if you take a dose of more than 81 mg, and too much alcohol. Alcohol keeps the liver from releasing glucose. The signs and symptoms of low blood glucose are easy to recognize. Rapid heartbeat. Sweating. Whiteness of skin. Anxiety. Numbness in fingers, toes, and lips. Sleepiness. Confusion. Headache. Slurred speech. Mild cases of hypoglycemia can be treated by drinking orange juice or eating a glucose tablet. Those will quickly raise your blood glucose level. If you have type 2 diabetes and you take insulin, you should always carry glucagon with you. Should you become unresponsive or unconscious because of hypoglycemia, you will need a quick injection of glucagon. Glucagon is a hormone that starts a process in your body that raises your blood glucose level. Hyperosmolar hyperglycemic non-ketotic syndrome. Hyperosmolar hyperglycemic non-ketotic syndrome, HHNS, is very rare, but you should be aware of it and know how to handle it if it occurs. HHNS is when your blood glucose level goes way too high, and if you don't treat it, it can cause death. HHNS is most likely to occur when you are sick, and elderly people are most likely to develop it. It starts when your blood glucose level starts to climb, when that happens. Your body will try to get rid of all the excess glucose through frequent urination. That dehydrates your body, and you'll become very thirsty. Unfortunately, when you're sick, you can't always rehydrate your body as you should. You might have trouble keeping fluids down, for example. When you don't rehydrate your body, the blood glucose level continues to climb, and it can eventually go so high that it will send you into a coma. To avoid hyperosmolar hyperglycemic non ketotic syndrome, you should keep close watch on your blood glucose level when you're sick. You should always pay attention to your blood glucose level, but pay special attention when you're sick. Talk to your healthcare professional about having a sick day plan to follow.